is your first lesson is about polynomial. So let us define polynomial. Is that expression consisting of variables and, it, and coefficients that involve only the operations addition, subtraction, multiplication, and then negative integer exponents of the variable. That means not all expression that we see in your in the examples in the internet or in your handbook are examples of polynomials. That means there are certain uh, we have conditions that satisfy whether the expression is a polynomial or not. So let us discuss now let us discuss what are the conditions in order for us to classify whether the given expression is a polynomial or not. Number one, no variable with positive exponent no variable with passive exponent should appear in the denominator. Okay. If the example, give an example, is 3 over x cubed, that means this is not a polynomial. Why? Because our exponent in the variable is positive. So another example, if you have 5 over x plus 2, the variable has an exponent of positive. So that means this is not a polynomial. Second, no variable with negative exponent should appear in the numerator. Okay. So if the expression is x squared is to negative 3 over x plus 1. Our condition is number 2. No variable with negative exponent should appear in the numerator. So in our numerator, we have x raised to negative 3. That means the condition does not satisfy that the expression is a polynomial. Another one, x raised to negative 4 over 5. x raised to negative 4, negative is our exponent, so that means that is not Third, no variable must appear inside the radical sign. Okay? If the example is 3 square root of x plus 2, x is located inside the radical sign. That means this is also, well, this is not an example of a polynomial. And the fourth one, the expression must not contain no fractional. expression is x raised to negative one half plus three. Our negative is in fraction and also negative. Therefore, that is that a polynomial. M raised to two over three plus seven. The exponent is a fraction. Therefore, this is not a polynomial. Let's have more. 
examples. Classify whether the given examples are example of a polynomial or not. Okay, number one. X cubed plus four. Polynomial or not? It is a polynomial. Why? Because we don't have negative exponent. We don't have radical sign that contain a variable inside this square. We also have a negative for a numerator, or we don't have positive exponent in the denominator. Number two, x raised to 3 over 2. Our exponent is in fraction form, so that means this is not a polynomial. Number three, x raised to negative 2 plus 5x. Our exponent is negative. That means it is not a polynomial. Number four, x is two over three. Not a polynomial. Number five, three over x plus seven. We have variable in our denominator which contain a passive exponent. So not a polynomial. Number five, the square root of x plus five all over five. The variable is inside the radical sign, so this is not a polynomial. Okay, understood? Polynomials are classified into number of terms. Classification of of polynomial. Polynomials can be classified in the number of terms. We have the monomial.
consists of four or more. So we have the binomial, a monomial, binomial, trinomial, and multinomial. Let us answer the exercises in your handbook. In your handbook, we have here, okay, let us answer numbers 1 to 5. Complete the table. Number 1. Number 1 is done. So, classification according to number of terms, binomial, because we only have two terms. Leading coefficient, 4, constant term, and degree of polynomial, A. Number 2, classification according to number of terms. So, we have one first term, second term, and third term. So, this is trinomial, because we have three terms. Leading coefficient. So our leading coefficient is square root of 2. Constant term, 2. Degree of polynomial, the highest degree is 4. So 4. Highest degree is 4. Number 3. Classification according to number of terms. Single term, so monomial. Leading coefficient, 5 square is 25. Constant term, constant term, none. And degree of polynomial, so let us add the exponent, 3 plus 4, 7 plus 3, Classification according to number of terms, so 1, 2, 2 terms, binomial. Leading coefficient, if we're going to simplify negative 25 raised to 0, will give us 1. Constant term, constant, 1. Degree of polynomial, 2 plus 4, 6. Number five, one, two, three, four. So, four more multinomial. Little coefficient. So, our coefficient here is one. Constant term, our constant is three. Degree, we have in the third degree. Now you can continue answering your handbook or if you have different books at home, you can answer that. Okay, thank you. So that's it for today about polynomials. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for our next lesson, which is the lowest of exponents. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.